Yo. Good morning, everybody. It is um, 6.30 in the morning. Just woke up. And I feel like streaming. So let's stream. Um, I was up. I woke. I went to bed at like 10 last night. Uh, because I spent the whole day um, working Whoa. on... Yo. Hello again, Blue, Tyler. Blue clip set with the four months. Thank you very much. I spent the whole night uh, editing. Or the whole day yesterday editing. After I um, went to therapy. Um, and then uh, spent the whole day working on the first episode of the Hugo Martin Doom Eternal interview. Uh, which um, the interview was great. Uh Hugo's such a cool guy. Um, it's really a dream come true to be able to have such a candid conversation with with such a such an amazing uh, game designer, you know, game director. Uh, he, in case you don't know, Hugo Martin, game director of Doom Eternal, Doom 2016. Um, been working at id Software since 2013 on an official capacity. Uh, middle of the night, and it's 6.34 a.m. for me. I just woke up. I went to bed at like 10-something. And we have the window open. We're trying to keep the air off as long as possible, but it's pretty warm out right now. Um, and I guess Electra uh, opened the window last night, and... Um, like, I don't know, it's really, really windy outside right now. And, you know, I'm sure you all know that when it's really, like, windy or whatever, the door... Like, we close the door, but the door is, like, trying to open, so it keeps going, dum 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 because the air pressure in the room. And I was, you know, I was just like, yeah, I could keep sleeping, or I could get up and, and do some work, you know? I'm really enjoying uh, editing right now. Yeah, dum 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 That's pretty funny. Um, so, um, I got the first episode done. This is the first. So okay, um, I'm 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 learning a lot about the games industry through the development of this uh, Hugo Martin interview series because I had been, I had to go th jump through a lot of hoops uh, to make it happen. Um, I um I I want to you know send a huge uh, tricky player one with the 14 months. Thank you very much. I want to send huge love to Joshua Boyle. Uh, community manager at id Software. Um, he's the guy that hosts the streams with color corrections a bit whack. Well, I don't have my light. Like, I don't want the, the lights on right now because I just woke up. Like, even doing that was, uh, you know. Big shout outs to Joshua Boyle. Um, he was the one that um, was, was got in contact with me when, you know, Hugo had shouted me out on that one live stream. Thanks to the follow. I made the Doom video. So the, the, the process by which that this stuff happened was cool. And w it's it. I've said this a couple times, but it's night and day what it's like dealing with Valve. And that includes the good and the bad of dealing with Valve. Uh, the few times that I've dealt with Valve, they've been very hands off with everything, you know, they just do what you want and get it done. You look sick? I just woke up. And my eyes are watering like hell because of the allergies. Um, so Josh, you know, was like, you want to interview Hugo? I go, yeah. And he goes, okay. And this was like three, four weeks ago. Cause Hugo, after I had made the first like Future of Doom video, 
was like, yeah, that Tyler Ricker guy is pretty cool. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, is that a Wii U behind you? Yeah. The gamepad? Yeah, I was, was playing the Wii U yesterday. Um, um, thank you for the follow. I'm having a hard time keeping a train of thought going. So, you know, I've interviewed people at Valve before. I've interviewed people from Valve at Valve. And when I went, I just went. Uh, but the problem was they didn't pay for anything. They are just like, get here, and then you can interview us, and it's whatever. And so I got there and asked literally any question. I did I did you I did pee at Valve. Yes, I did. <laughs> this is their old offices though. Um with id ex by extension Bethesda and I guess now Microsoft, I had to submit all of the questions I was going to ask like 3 weeks ahead of time and then workshop the the questions over the course of a couple weeks. So like I submitted my question sheet the first time and like got it back and almost the entire thing was was highlighted in red, which meant I couldn't ask those questions. <laughs> and but amazingly Josh wasn't just like how Valve would be. I don't know. So I get it all back. You can't ask these questions, but the fun thing was Josh actually called me. He's like, "Hey, Ben. Hey, what's up, man? Do you have time?" I go, oh god, am I in trouble? Because the only time Valve was ever like, hey, you have time, was to, you know, scold me. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. And he calls and we talk for like an hour and he goes like, okay, so this is exactly why these questions won't fly. I'm like, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for fucking explaining that to me. In very clear terms. <laughs> I will not do that again. Cool, thank you. And what he told me made perfect sense. Right? I'm not going to go into specifics, but he called me and he's like, okay, so questions this through this. Nope. Here's why. Oh, okay. Wow. I never thought of it like that. Thank you. And then we work on it, and eventually I get a three page question sheet that the entire thing when I submitted it, I got no red marks on, which was just my third version. And it was like an hour before the Hugo interview and I was messaging Josh like, uh, I thought like they hadn't looked at it because I didn't get any questions in red. And he's like, and literally like, by the way, on the Hugo interview when it happened, it was me and Hugo and Josh in a Discord call on the Friday Night Fights uh, Discord server. And Josh was just super quiet the whole time. He was just like probably sitting there on his phone. Just making sure no one says anything fucking stupid. Um, but, like, you know, Hugo had to answer his phone or whatever in the middle of the interview, or, like, right at the beginning of the interview. And I was like, hey, man, hey, Josh, I just want to say, like, fucking thank you, dude. And we talked for a while, and he's just so fucking, mm, like, so easy to work with. He's like, oh, yeah, man, don't worry. Everything's cool. And Josh didn't really interrupt much at all during the interview, and Josh had told me that I had an hour, but he let it go on for way longer than that. Um, and it's just like, dude. So the interview happens two nights ago, and it was, it was funny, you know, I requested webcams, and I never got a word back on if I would get webcams or not. Like, I wanted a, the video feed of Hugo, right? Um, and he and Josh was like, yeah, I'll work on that. I'll let you know. And he never let me know. But then when I joined the call, it's just like Hugo had just really cleaned himself up. Yo. Hey, Tyler. I just want to let you know that I'm very proud of you for having a good sleeping schedule. Also, everyone should play Manifold Garden. Mm. It is the best 3D puzzle game since Portal. Love you, know him well. Yeah, everybody says that about most 3D puzzle games. Manifold Garden's fucking great, though. It is really good. Um, so, you know, 
Hugo's just standing there in a flannel, looking all happy, looking all like Hugo. And I'm like, like every so often he's just talking and then I just get this massive smile on my face because it hits me that like, oh, I'm actually doing this. Oh, wow. This is actually happening. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm just like giggling to myself. <laughs> and he just keeps talking, but like, I try and like, like try and not smile so much because it was so like, it's probably weird. Um, but no, it was awesome. We talked for like an hour and 40 minutes. I got to ask the majority of the questions that I had. Um, and it went amazing. Like I went upstairs and just like, like, ah, to Electra. Um, you know. He did the live stream with Josh, the finale of the live stream with Josh last night, and he actually said some stuff that he didn't say in the interview that would be cool to, like, put with the interview. So I'm probably, not for the video that I just finished, but for the video, the next episode of the this, because it's, I split, so it's, it's an hour and 40 minutes, right? And if I just were to upload an hour and 40 minutes, no one would watch it all, right? Like, one or two bits of it would get popular, or n because of the length, the YouTube algorithm wouldn't share it or whatever and so when i was showing it to electra she's like you cannot just upload this whole thing and i go yeah i know she goes you got to split it up and to divide it into parts because he just talked about like mechanics and now we're talking about like really deep lore i'm like yeah okay <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff he said about deep lore with me because i came up with a bunch of questions that were effectively like hey explain this plot hole um, and it's like, yeah, cool. Um, and he said some stuff last night on the stream that he didn't say to me about like, you know, um, about the rabbit and about his family and stuff, but he said other stuff that was really cool. So, yeah. It went really well. So now, um, I have the first episode done. It's done to me. You know. Um, drink. However, I know for a fact, because I'm, I'm playing the corporate game for this series right now. I'm trying to make a good first impression to build some trust with, with Bethesda and Microsoft and all them, so that over time, I don't have as many hoops to jump through, which over, you know, I, I set, I have to submit these videos for approval, which I've never had to do before. And I know that I'm going to get some annoying notes, which in the long run will benefit the video, and that in the long run, I will be explained exactly why I have to change what I have to change. But, the first... Um, the first video that I did is about all of the changes that Bethesda made to DLC 1, all of the choices that well, id Software made to DLC 1, The Ancient Gods Part 1, and um, all of the decisions that were made on DLC 2, The Ancient Gods Part 2, um, and just Hugo's thoughts and feelings about all of that stuff. Um, you know that it's it's about 20 minutes 18 minutes long um and it's actually version two of the video um so and i i just i sent that over to to josh last night he was streaming so he couldn't get it and when i woke up i got notes but not about the video about the thumbnail and he's like hey uh hugo should be smiling in that video dude more people will click on it if hugo is smiling on the thumbnail because the face you're using now is Hugo, like, thinking. Make Hugo smile. Huh. Okay. And then also I'm using the Doom 2016 logo, and he goes, It's about Doom Eternal, man. Use the Doom Eternal logo. I go, did you watch the video yet? And he goes, I'm not going to watch the video until I have a good thumbnail I want to click on. I'm like... Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to make some changes to the video, I'm sure, that I haven't even thought of. 
So it's going to take a while for these to get finished, but in the long run, the videos will be better and I'm going to learn a fuck ton, which I'm excited about. And in the meantime, I have a lot of other stuff to make content on, right? But I'm splitting the series, the interview into four parts, right? <laughs> First part's about DLC, second part is about uh, plot holes, uh, Doom lore plot holes. Third episode is about specifically 2016 and why things were changed between 2016 and Eternal. And the fourth episode is about the future! And then I might do a fifth episode if, if I have some extra questions that just like a miscellaneous catch-all kind of thing. Because there's stuff like, I did ask him, I asked Hugo, um, is an Apple Watch on the- oh, yeah. Yes, it is. <clears throat> I asked Hugo about being a dad. Um, I want to show you so much from this, but I'm not allowed to yet. It has to go through approval. Like, I got in some trouble for showing the two-second clip of Hugo saying a thing that's effectively an announcement for a thing down the road, right? Which I'm allowed to have in a video but I need to get approval in how it's presented. That's fine. That's fine. I have to play the game. That's fine. I am learning a lot. That's fine. So... Um... <clears throat> is the approval done? It's just done by Josh and the people Josh works for, or the people that work under Josh. It's just... It's not like this massive corporate thing. It's just like... Josh needs to see it. I think Marty Stratton needs to see it. And then they just give me notes and then it goes from there. How did the YouTuber slash community questions go? Oh, they loved that. They loved that. Josh was like, how did you get these? I go, I just asked. And he went, oh, huh. This is a lot of creators. I go, not really. It's like 10. I go, it's like everybody that matters in the Doom community. How did you do that? And I'm just like, what do you mean? I'm friends with everybody. Because, like, I had No Clip and Dave Oshry and Three Clicks Philip, and, you know, those are just kind of like the general gaming fans. But then I also had Mayo, Allstein Midnight, <clears throat> you know, the, 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 the Doom YouTubers. Um, yeah, and it's just like, you know, if playing the game on the Bethesda side of things gets me a lot of really cool official stuff on the Microsoft side of things. That's not going to affect the data mining and the leaks on the Valve side of things, right? Or Nintendo. Fuck Nintendo. Because they don't care. That's not their company. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, if I'm going to be a, a bit of a corporate shill on the one side, but with games that like actively come out all the time and it would be good for me to... Then I'll play that game. But then also like... Valve's never going to change their mind on me, so fuck it, you know what I mean? So it's just, I gotta play it differently for every company that I deal with. And also, like, making a good impression on id, I feel like, is a bigger deal than just id, right? That's id, that's arcane, that's tango, that's obsidian even, because Microsoft owns them, BGS, it's all of them. So... Do you get what I mean? Yeah. On the Bethesda side of things, I'm fine being a bit of a shill. And then on the Valve side of things, mm -mm. never. <laughs> so... Yeah, but I'm really happy with how the video turned out. It was funny because I did a cut of the video using my normal background music and showed it to Electra, and Electra's like, mm-mm. Use Andrew's music. Electra's like, use that IDKFA remake album. Don't use Home. Use Doom music. And then I redid it with Doom music, and she goes, way better. I'm like, are you like my producer now? She's like, yeah, I always have been. But now you're talking about games I give a shit about. I'm like, ah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> <clears throat> 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 
Yeah. So the first cut, or like a final cut of the first version, of, well, the second version. So the original idea for the video was a Valve News Network-esque video, but it's just Hugo's voice the whole time. And I edited the, the video together to have like a, a narrative to it, but it's just Hugo talking as if he's narrating a, a VNN video, right? Showed that to Electra, she's like, this is awful. No. <laughs> and then I did it again in the way I did it now, and she's like, way better. I might show you guys the original cut when the I get approval and everything, but... I have not watched the Dota anime yet. The um, data mining plan for today... We'll data mine in a little bit. Um, I'm going to play some Doom Eternal just to play, you know. I, I try and play every couple days or every day so that I, you know, <coughs> improve my, my game. Because I'm not that good, you know. I'm like a brown belt. Did you watch the TNG episodes with Half-Life Actors in it? No. Nah. All right, we're gonna put that to like there, and then we're gonna do that. Hugo said you're really good on stream. Yeah, I saw that. That was fucking awesome. <clears throat> All right, let's do a main campaign on Nightmare and see how far we can get. I haven't played DLC two yet. How is it? It's it's good. I like DLC one better, but DLC Against two is good. Have you considered binding your weapons to separate keys instead of using the weapon wheel? Yeah, but like, I don't know what keys to use. Like my muscle mem- like I gotta get out of the weapon wheel muscle memory because I'm only using like four weapons all the time, you know. And I could just use like, oh, super shotgun on one, ballista on two, you know, a heavy cannon on three, rocket launcher on four. When I, or whatever. I did not watch the live stream last night because I was busy with my own video. And also, I'm sure Hugo said some shit that was in my interview, and I don't want to get upset about that. <laughs> I don't want to be like, oh, Hugo, come on. You just told me that. Why? 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 <laughs> so I'm not going to get upset about it because I know, like, couple tens of thousands of people watched that, you know, so it's it's whatever. I found out a speedrunner skip for the game. I'm not, I don't speedrun this game real- what the fuck? I just realized where's my- oh, my ammo disappeared there for a second. Yeah, HLX stuff, I'm not entirely sure yet because I've been busy with the Hugos. Like, the HLX leak occurred. I was literally in a Discord call doing the interview, so it's like, okay. I, I like, I'm, so, uh, something more pressing is happening right now. I'm not gonna be like, I'm sorry, Hugo. I'm gonna end this interview that I worked for two months on uh, because Half-Life, Half-Life is more pressing. Half-Life, Half-Life all the time, every day. It's interesting. I, I, I have a feeling I know what it is. Um, and if you're a longtime viewer of the specifically the Twitch channel, you've heard me talk about it in the past. Uh, I've been hearing rumors to the effect of what this will end up being for a long time, but... HLX and Citadel are two different projects. HLX and Citadel are two different things. There are two games in development right now. The first Hell Priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 30... <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to comment on what it is just yet. Um... You're gonna have to wait for the video, which you're probably gonna get before the first episode of the Hugo video. You could get that video fucking today. You know, I've got- I don't have to go through approval processes. Uh, I mean, maybe... So apparently if you tell the game to switch weapon mods at the same time that, that one of these animations are set to play, it'll skip. I did- I was able to get- I, I did do it... 
last time, but... I didn't get it to do it that time. Is it possibly related to the Blast from the Past? Um, I think it's a higher chance that, that um, Citadel is the Blast from the Past, but yeah. It, uh, Why did they remove skipping the animation? I was able to get it to work last night, so they didn't. <laughs> yeah, changing weapon, it's just getting your character to play an animation that like, you know. What up, Gabe? How you doing, man? I don't know if you're a big Doom guy, um, but we're gonna be doing Doom for a little while before I do any data mining. Greetings from the land down under. Man, I wish I lived in New Zealand. You see, they just signed a bill into order to give uh, people that just had miscarriages maternal leave. Genius. You're a big Doom guy? Yeah, I let, like, a handful of people see the interview. Um, and everybody that saw it was like, oh my goodness. Best interview you've yet done. And I go, uh, don't you mean Fallout the Frontier is the best interview I've ever done? Come on. You see, why is my ammo counter saying fist? Why is it doing that? Do you have any information on Metroid Prime 4 at all? I mean, I do, but I'm really afraid to do anything with it because it's not good news. You know, it's bad news. The fruits of our labor. I can't believe this game has as much replayability as it does. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Nope. Almost. Man, I don't have any of the tools. Have you watched the Dota anime? To answer that question, because that's like the fifth time someone's asked me, no. And I don't intend to anytime soon. See? Just did it. I was able to do it just then. So instead of looking at the toy or whatever, I just switched my weapon mod. There it goes. We're gonna get some ammo. Gonna take out Volato. Arachnatron down. We are playing on Nightmare. We're not going for like 100% or anything. I just want to be able to finish the game on Nightmare. I'm going to get as many secrets as I can comfortably get for, you know, upgrades and stuff. But, you know, optional encounters that are known to really fuck you over. Nope. Have you ever completed a Nightmare run? No siree. I've completed Ultraviolence many times. Never completed Nightmare. We're going for Nightmare now. I would like some replayability quality of life options, you know? Like, when you collect a page, you don't see an animation of the Doom Slayer, like, adding the page into a book or whatever. As cool as that would be on, like, playthrough number one, I really would love a, you know, animations can be turned off if, after you've beaten the game once or twice, you know? Like, the animations that show you doors opening and 
the animations of seeing the Doom guy play with a toy. Like, those are cute. The first ten times... That was weird. He went through the, the wall before the wall exploded. It's funny because the more I play this game, the more like little bugs I find and become aware of. Which I love, you know. It's just when you become more aware of things, the jankiness. The frames are bad? Frame loss. Oh, yeah. You're gonna wanna give the stream a little while to catch up. I'm dead. I think my computer's trying to download something. Hold up. No. It's just, it's not my computer, it's my internet. Being a bit fucky. Let me check if anything's downloading anywhere. Where's the ball? I can do that, do that. Hmm. Yeah, give it give it a little while, it'll catch up. Have you heard of Deep Rock Galactic? I have heard of it, yeah. Not played it. Yeah, Spectrum. Yuck. So apparently I can skip the animation of collecting the grenade thing by switching weapon mods. Which I, I didn't know I could do. My number keys are not working. I cannot switch weapons. What is going on? Okay. That was weird. Alright. Damn it! Got any good info about Starfield? Not really. I mean, yes. We'll see. Oh, they're going to announce Starfield pretty soon, as far as I know. All the rumors are pointing towards that, yeah. I don't have much info on Elder Scrolls Six right now. Um, I have leads, but recent movements have made me rethink how I'm going to do Bethesda stuff, as I've explained. Starfield's gonna have that 16 times the detail, hell yeah. Are you ignoring my messages? Yeah. The HLX ones I am, yeah. And don't show me the Arachnatron. Like, I know. I know there's an Arachnatron there. Never mind. As my, as, I have no idea about new punch out games, no.
Will Bethesda be using a new engine because of Microsoft? No. Yeah, I'll be playing Cross... It's already done. It's already out. I'll be playing Crossfire. Next level was bought outright, yeah. Is it true that Dario Casali has never played Half-Life 2? I'm pretty sure Dario Casali worked on Half-Life 2. Where did that information come from? A couple people have said that. Oh, if Chris said it, maybe. Huh. Maybe he's talking about like the final build because yeah, maybe that's where you that, that's yeah knew it knew it blah, blah, blah. had no idea. Like, Dario has been at Valve for ages, man. Microsoft buying Discord? I mean, I, I on that front, it's not a game, so it's not something I'd really chase after anyways, like the information on, you know? Are they? I mean, yeah, all the rumors are saying so. Oof. A lot of devs don't play their released games like Gabe said because of all the missed opportunities and stuff. Yeah, I know. Half-Life 2 is a good game. Dario should try it. Is there any difficulty difference between Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare minus the, you know, you only live once thing? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Mother brick. Microsoft owns LinkedIn, do they? DLC 2 as good as the base game, yes. DLC 1 in places is better than the base game. There are bits in Atlantica and the Blood Swamps that are the best pieces of Doom content that I've ever played. Did you enjoy talking to Hugo? Very much so. located 
just above your location. My scans indicate there is a little We have no new information about Back for Blood possibly supporting Workshop. All we know is that Back for Blood has been delayed until October. Do you know anything more about the open world Pokemon game? What did Hugo work on before Doom? He was at Naughty Dog, worked on Jack X and Uncharted 1. And he worked at Blur, Blur, Studi Blur, Blur Studios for a while. Alright, let's try this. And boink! Nah. Then he worked on Pacific Rim with uh, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. I will not be expanding on the Metroid Prime 4 information at all on stream, no. Please stop asking. Mm. Do you know what Hal is up to? No. Tyler, how much of you are a gamer? I don't really like video games that much, guys. Carmack doing nowadays VR and AI. I did see those adverts for Doom 2016. I have no idea where the guy got them, but those are cool. <laughs> I have played Dusk. Yes. I have streamed Dusk. Man, three missed shots in a row, dude. I have not played much Ultra Kill. I played it when the demo first came out, and then I haven't played it since. How did you find Sirius Sam 4? Well, I saw the trailer for it a while back. Also, hey, Peacemaker. Uh, but everybody told me it was shit. But then eventually I was just like, you know what, fuck that, and bought it. And I like it, it's pretty good. Did you like it or not? Well, I've only played the first two levels. And yeah. I mean, like... It looks, in the adverts, it looks like Doom 2016, in terms of its mechanics. It's not. You know? There are definitely, like, it has a fucking Mancubus clone in it. It is shit. No, it's not. It's pretty good. Uh, but I stopped playing it because I was like, this is good stream stuff. Didn't Serious Sam 2 get like a massive update, like out of nowhere? Can someone explain that to me? So what's going on with the, like, they just updated their old-ass game for no reason? I'm dead. Yep. Yeah. 
So, a community member, now officially part of Cryo Team, worked on Serious Sam 2 because they were bored. <laughs> okay. What did they update? So, Talos Principle is by the Serious Sam developers. Because Talos Principle is fucking awesome. That's awesome. Oh, okay. That again. Will you stream the HLA Map Labs competition that's ending next week? Maybe. Added new weapons, dual wielding, mini-map. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Where is Cryo Team based out of? Are they a Russian team? Croatia. Okay. Cool. Hence the name Crow Team. <gasps> Fucking duh. I've played that Serious Sam Fusion thing. Because somebody remade the fucking first episode of Duke Duke 3D in VR with it. Is my water down here? No, I'm gonna get some water. I've played Eve. I've played I and Darkness I. Yeah. Bruh, any Daikatana 2 leaks? Mm -mm. Fusion is just HD remakes of all the first games and Sam 3 bundled into one executable. Yeah, but doesn't it also have like a VR thing? Or am I dreaming that? I heard that the game when it first came out was a buggy mess, yeah. I've tried remote play, yeah. Um, I don't know. After the fall or in the valley, those are two very different things. And also, no. I've heard good things about remote play, yeah.
That boy's stuck. Have you tried any Doom Eternal modding at all? This this is modded. Yeah. There are mods installed right now even. Small ones. But yes. I've played I've played an entire campaign of custom master levels. Uh, Peacemaker, I don't have any glory kill mods installed. You may want to see a doctor. I have the ammo color one installed though. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> I saw a speedrun trick for this. I watched an Ultra Nightmare run yesterday, and I saw a trick yesterday that made me go like, WHAT?! This. Fucking what?! You can do that?! Isn't that awesome? I don't like the weapon skins in this game. There's a lot of weapon skins in this game. You're telling me you don't like a single one of them? Fine, I'll let you vote on which weapon skins we use. Pick one. Praetor... Maker, gift wrapped, classic. Classic, okay. Praetor, gold, plaid, this, 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 none. Okay, gold. This, 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 and this. Okie dokie. Psychedelic. That's what we had. But the psychic Dalek one is ugly. You're gonna, you're gonna tell me you would look Hugo Martin in the face and be like, "Bruh, this 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 shit ugly." I don't think so. Fuck you, tentacle. Hey, what do you mean no target? 
I love Target. I would do that, and then I would kiss him on the mouth. Gross. You don't know where Hugo's mouth has been. Probably his wife and kids. And that's not a good way to keep COVID from happening. Oh, come on. <gasps> there is? You can use it to activate the mech and clear the path forward. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Yoink! No. Would you kiss Hugo on the mouth or the cheek? His ass, obviously. Sorry. <laughs> the internet is to be believed. I hate extra lives. I played on Nightmare with no extra lives. Okay. What's your best HLA map? What's the best HLA map? I haven't played them in a while. But, um... We're gonna do VR streaming again soon. There's some new equipment I need to get. Do you think Hugo has nice boobs? I don't think Hugo is, is a heavy enough man to be considered boobage, you know? So, uh, zero, because there are no boobs. Ah, mother... Oh! That's good, I guess. That Half-Life Bioshock map looks sick. Yeah, it does. Again, I haven't touched, like, that's made by, that's made by that Wind guy, who is a genius and has, he made the Lost Case, right? And the fucking, like, there's, he, that guy puts out so much. He made the Resident Evil stuff, he made the entirety of the Lost Case, which is like an eight episode thing, and then he made a sequel to the Lost, like, how, is this all you do? The only thing he's bad at is optimization. It's pretty cool of Valve to showcase a bunch of community maps. Yeah, I mean, I guess. But they, Valve didn't. Right, they had to hire somebody else to do it. Why is it delayed like that? Yeah, Jeep did leave Valve. Lots of people left Valve. You keep hear do you hear that? Like it's delayed. I shoot the thing, I shoot his turret, and then it takes like an extra second for the turret to go ping. I 
I just shot at nothing. Weak point destruction is delayed during a traversal animation. Really? Why? That's weird. Why does the voice actor for an act for that one actor sound like a Vortigaunt? Because it's the same guy. Tony Todd is one of the lead characters in that anime. Somehow survived that one. You ever played Bastion? No. Heard of it. Have not played it. You should play Bastion. Okay. What is it? kind of game is it? Isn't it made by the same people that do that did Hades? Hades is good. <laughs> what do you mean Valve data mining? What do you mean patience? I was out of fuel. I was out of fuel. I was out of fuel. Cost me a life. I was out of fuel. Yep. Such a noob mistake. Whose idea was the purple goo? I don't know. Hugo's dreaded fun zone.
Will this VOD be saved? I think so. I've been deleting VODs lately because of, like, you know... I don't, like, I might... Like, the last time was because I shared too much about the Hugo interview, and the time before that, same. This time, I, I haven't made the same mistakes. Hey, I watched the VODs. Cool, thank you. See, I've never been treated like the way I have with a company like like I have been with id, you know Am I missing these shots No. <gasps> Yoink so I don't want to like Fuck it up Unnecessary for 100%, and I don't need it, so whatever. Ow! I'm not doing the... Encounter, sorry. The betrayer's life signal is nearby. Oh shit, really? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Someone made an Ageo Doomslayer skin? Cool. I will mark its location on your HUD. Fuck, fuck. You wanna see a boy fucking fail on the fucking traversal puzzles? God damn. weird. Remember how I said the more you play, the more bugs you find? It's stuff like that. Now, it's funny that that jump puzzle gave me so much trouble because I've played it so many times, you know? Oh, fucking ass. I thought I was gonna get blocked. Dang it. What? You swallowed that? Ugh, oh, man. Why don't you talk about HLX? Because we're not at that part of the stream, you fucking vultures!
Yeah, Portal 2 is 10 years old this year, that's true. What part then? My god, just watch the VOD. Or the video that I'm obviously gonna be making on the topic. Like, yeah, I'm in the middle of a fucking, like, night- I'm playing Nightmare number one. I'm in the middle of an arena in my favorite fucking game, and you're like, Dude, wait, why are we doing the other thing? We're gonna do the other thing when I'm bored of this. Are you getting a bit sick of Valve? Oh, no. Come on. Don't say that. Yes, but money. Sentinel energy levels rising, re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. It's not a mobile game. The ice bomb. You'll have to manually check. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Hundred dollars. If someone donates a hundred dollars, I will stop what I'm doing and immediately start on the HLX stuff. Otherwise, be fucking patient. I love this game. Put your money where your mouth is. Two fifty dollars or one one hundred dollar. Either or. Exclamation point, donate in the chat, guys. equals 10. Portal 2 is in its 10 year anniversary. Portal 2 has Borealis stock in it. HLX equals Half-Life Borealis. Here, I solved it. Hardest level in the game here, fellas. This one right here. Tyler, are you okay? Uh... I don't know. You tell me why you think I'm not, though.
I get worried about you, not gonna lie. And I appreciate that. That's very nice of you, but... I mean, I've had a fucked up life my whole life. I'm all good. Why did I do that? Now I have to fucking wait. He may be. He gonna move. Uh. Tyler promised he'll talk about it when he gets a hundred, and he got two hundred. Bruh. Somebody just typed in that they donated 200. They they didn't actually donate $200. The stream would have been alerted. million dollars oh I guess I have to talk about how you chillax now how's your day been uh I mean I've only I, I literally hit stream when I woke up I'm pretty good playing my favorite game time. You know, see a boy get scared? Ah, fuck. Told you, hardest, hardest level in the game. Oh, play 26. If you haven't played any of them, play 2016 first. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, we want faster. Thanks for the... Who just followed? Thank you. We want faster dexterity stuff. Yeah, hot swap. And this one. It's 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 only two coins, but it's like the most important one in the entire damn game because it allows you to quick swap. See? So you can set up combos. Hold up. Uh, wait, no.
My hot swap combos never involve the combat shotgun, so... Is that the normal suit or the limited edition cosplay one? I'm, uh, I'm cosplayer right now. Which I think was a Twitch exclusive. Memes aside, I'm glad I didn't miss the data mine. Good. Yeah, we're gonna do that later. Just let me enjoy my favorite game ever. Sexy little baby. Come on. I always miss that. Whoops. See how I'm like instinctively switching off once I get a PB off? See, the reason why this is the hardest level in the game is because you only have like a fourth of your tool set and the game starts really throwing shit at you. And when you've played a few times, like I have, you're kind of working off of muscle memory for the game to play a specific way, you know? Like if I... I kept trying to switch off to the ballista, but I couldn't, because I don't have it. I tried to do a double blood punch mixed with some glory kills to refill the- I was trying to do like an infinite blood punch thing there, right? Just do Impulse 101. <laughs> nah, that's okay. Rocket launcher without any mods is so not worth your fucking time. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, man. Come the fuck on, guys. This is nightmare. Yeah, Hugo Martin's actual kids dance to the I wish Hugo Martin was my dad's song. Oh, that was embarrassing. How many lives did I lose? Four? That was really embarrassing. Try PB Rocket. I don't even use lock on at this point. Damn, Tyler, you're bad. No, I know. How can I play and read so smoothly at the same time? What do you mean? I'm not really reading, am I? Oh, do you mean chat? 
I don't know, man. That's just something you learn. All right, now it's time for my least favorite enemy of the game. All right, where's the next one? There you are. I guess that works. Nope. Muscle memory. Nah, I know. I'll keep practicing PB Rocket. I've not done PB Rocket before. And anytime I use Rocket Launcher, it's for either Remote Debt for Stun, or Stagger, or whatever. Or Lock On for specifically just Whiplashes. Lock On. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I guess you guys can pick my rocket launcher skin. This is my favorite one, but it is an old one from Series 1. Pick one. USA? Okay. dead. Not how I thought I'd die. What's the percentage of the game I've completed up until this point? Uh, well, this is level three. Of, I think 15, 12. Man, unupgraded lock on is the worst. Is he dead? Come on. Uh. Are there any franchises you've never played but like to give a try? Yeah, lots. When are you going to start pulling for your backlog? I don't know. It's a good question, though. I guess the Unreal series, yeah, I've never played Unreal. Oh, come on. Nope. 
Need me some fire. Oh. Can you see it, brothers? Brothers, eat my soul. I must survive this. Don't do that. Thank God. The relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. My power just fluctuated, just flashed there. So we might be losing power here in a minute. The weather is pretty bad outside. So if I go offline, uh, it's because of that. Gotta hate when that happens. Damn. All right, ending there. HLX time. Let me look. Outside. Yeah, it's windy as fuck out there. So, apparently, 
There is, in the newest few Dota updates, a fuck ton of stuff. So, we're gonna... Find as much as we can. Holy shit. That's a fuck ton, man. Oh my god. Okay. So what was this update? Oh, uh, okay. Coaching, new, new, bringing new people in. Banning Smurfs. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to skip the proto buffs. Uh, this is a protein cookie. Mom found the protein condoms. Yeah, I know Obsidian's working on a new game. I won't be really looking at the chat that much, I'm sorry. Answer the questions among yourself, please.
Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's compile date. There's updates to the compositor, which is big news. VR networking. Okay, those are third party. That's new. Max, mat max light complexity. How is the music in, like, compared to my voice? Should the music be a bit, like, I want the music to be a bit overwhelming, because this is a lot of just looking. All right, then I'll turn it up on my end. Feel like I need a day quill. Is it a TOS to take a day quill? <laughs> I just feel very foggy. My allergies are fucking nuts right now. Just say it's chewing gum. Don't worry, guys. I just went over to get my copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. There's some Counter-Strike stuff in here, but again, I, I don't know if that's just holdovers from an older build, or... <laughs> Excuse me. Thanks for the follow. Hey, we hit 61,000 follows. Awesome. This isn't source code. This is just a plain text DLL from the Linux build of Dota 2. And the string diff against the previous update. There's a lot of mentions of this Proto 3 code name. Self Esteem Fund is still the best Valve song, you're right. 
That piano track that plays in the Grandma Russell apartment place is a close second, though. Wait, am I still Dota 2 or whatever? Sorry. It's podcast or whatever. Talk shows and podcasts. They're switching or have switched from the protobuf v2 to the protobuf v3. Thank you. My lights just flickered again. Uh. Again, we could lose power at any moment. Most of this stuff has to do with this new protobuf system then.
Thanks for the follow. I think there's also a dash reflex in the Vulcan renderer. What would that mean? NVIDIA Reflex, okay. The fear of not having enough to read. Okay. This is all third party.
There is a lot here. Okay, wow. Okay, so I can just assume that, that these are all relatively similar. HRT, that's, HRTF is, um, 3D audio stuff.
Barn light minute. What is a barn light? The fuck is a barn light? You see so much about this barn light stuff. Dota. 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 Dota.
Dota. Dota. Dota. Dota. Dota. Dota. Dota. Dota. Dota. Dota. P. 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 Uh. Uh. P. Mm. Mm. Yo. What? Yep. Uh huh. Nah. -uh. P. Ooh. Mm. Ah. Uh. What? Mm. Mm. What? P. Mm. Ah. Uh. Ooh. What? Mm. Ah. Uh. What? P. Mm, 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 P. Mm, P. Mm, P. Yep, 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 yep. Mm, P. Mm. P. P. Day quill and data mining. Day quill and data mining. Motherfucking day quill and data mining. Mm. Day quill and data mining. Mm. Day quill and data mining. Yep. Day quill and data mining. Every fucking day I'm motherfucking day quill data mining. Ooh. Yeah. What? Have you mined any interesting data? About 200 lines of it. 100 lines of it, excuse me. What is NPX? NPX. Shard shop. Shard shop. Because you need to be able to see where they're located, what files they're found in, what they're compared against. I'm going to guess this is Dota related. I've been data mining since before you was born. Day quill and data mining. What? Day quill and data mining. Yeah. Day quill and data mining every fucking day. I'm fucking day quill and data mining. Yep. Day quill and data mining. What? Student count and data mining. The element type supplies a merge form operation to make the copies for data mining. Mm. Day quill and data mining. What? Day quill and data mining. Yeah. Day quill and data mining. What? Uh, yeah? Uh huh. They quill and data mining. They quill and data mining. And data mining. And data mining. Wow. 
Parliament, you're goofy. When I'm on my deathbed, you know, 15 years from now, I'd love to be able to, like, know how many hours I've spent just scrolling through Steam DP's Git page. And for what? Most of the people didn't believe me anyways. <laughs> Hugo Martin, I wish you were my dad. Hugo Martin, I wish you were my dad. Hugo Martin, I wish you were my dad. Hugo Martin, I wish I were my dad. Hugo Martin, yeah, I wish you were my dad, yeah. Hugo Martin, yeah, I wish you were my dad, yeah. Hugo Martin, yeah, I wish you were my dad, yeah. Hugo Martin, yeah. All right, we're actually in a file with a lot of stuff, so I'll shut the fuck up for a second. Hugo Martin. I wish you were my dad Hugo Martin I wish you were my dad Valve 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 fucking sucks. Valve. Valve. Drink that Kool-Aid. Valve fucking sucks. Valve. Valve. We're not mad. We're just disappointed. Valve. 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 Valve fucking sucks. Mmm. What? Valve. Yeah. Mmm. What? Uh-huh. Yeah. Valve. Valve. Valve, yeah, valve, 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 yeah. We don't work with you because we think that you're trying to hurt us, that we're trying to hurt us. We're not mad, we're just disappointed. Valve, valve, valve fucking sucks. Mm. Mm. Mmm, valve. Mmm, valve. Wake up with a knife on your desk, valve. Mmm, valve. Mmm, valve. Move to New Zealand and make me put chips in your brain. Mmm, valve. Mmm, valve. I collect a thousand knives a day. What? Valve. What? Valve. What? Mmm, what? <laughs> Eating eggs. I eat just too many eggs. I eat just too many eggs. I eat just too many eggs. Oh yeah, I'm eating eggs. I eat just too many eggs. I eat just too many eggs. I eat just too many eggs. I like my eggs scrambled. Ah, I like my eggs scrambled. Ah, I like an omelet. Ah, I like an omelet. Yeah, yeah, scrambled. I eat my eggs scrambled. I eat an omelet. I like the omelet. Uh, uh, too many eggs. I eat too many eggs. <laughs> I too many eggs. <laughs> eat too many eggs. Omelet. I eat an omelet. Put some cheese in that omelet. I like that omelet. 
I haven't shit in five days. Too many eggs. It's been five days. I haven't shit in five days. Too many eggs. It's been five days. Too many eggs. I see too many eggs. I have eat too many eggs. I like them in an omelet. Too many eggs. I eat too many eggs. I eat too many eggs. I have a shit. Oh, it's actually been six days. It's actually been six days. I just checked the clock and guess what? Six days. <laughs> have a shit in six days. I shit in six days. My stomach hurts. And I haven't shit in six days. Too many eggs. I eat too many eggs. I eat too many eggs. I eat too many eggs. Six days. Haven't shit in six days. Six days. Haven't shit in six days. It's probably from the eggs. It's probably from the eggs. Probably from the eggs. It's probably from the eggs. It's probably from the. It's probably from the. Too many eggs. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna go sit in the toilet now. <laughs> Bye, Marlaman. Thanks for hanging out. Is Deadly Blow a Dota 2 thing? It's probably a Dota 2 thing, right? Hmm. <sighs> Oh my god, we actually gained viewers while I was doing that. Player vehicle? Player vehicle? Where do you see player vehicle? I don't and Andromeda, I think you're drunk. I think you've had too many eggs. One of the sound files. Oh. We haven't gotten the sound files. What have I missed? Uh, too many eggs. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. Ah. Oh, that's code name for Zeus. Okay, I thought that was a CSGO thing. Is Deadly Blow a CSGO thing? I didn't say I hadn't shit in weeks. I said it's been six days. Somebody needs to get their, their memory checked. Somebody needs to edit together that fucking hot-ass mixtape I just threw together. Alright, we might actually be pretty much done.
stop eating eggs for your own sake. You can't make me stop. I'm my own man. Bum 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 bum. What if Valve was faking HLX? Then fuck him. I'm gonna report on it regardless. And if they're like, oh, we're, it's a trap! And people be like, Val, fuck you. <sighs> Too many eggs. Too many eggs. What does NPX mean? Too many eggs. Too many eggs. All right, so that's everything that I could find. Now please show me the shit that I missed that I didn't find. Let's see. Let's, 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 let's look up the, this Pavel man. Dota 2 has a new website which is made in React and the news section actually loads directly from the Steam announcements now. Cool. HLX, do this. Next gen light types. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There are more updates. You're not going to get HLX stuff from small bug fixes and shit. You'd never do. Alright. Let's check my buddy Gabe. You can't say that just yet. Has he made a video yet? No. Ha, huh, okay. Let's look at Gabe's website. Are you commenting based on date? Because it doesn't look like it. That's the 14th. Okay. Did you get the light descriptions? Yes, I did. Yeah, uh, post all your findings. <laughs> okay. Post your findings in the Discord. Um, yeah, I've got a video to make. Uh, I'm gonna go. Love you guys. Peace and hair grace. Adios. Thanks a bunch. Woo!